Eric, are you playing with an abri? <laughs> Hello everyone, KJ4YZ with Ham Radio Concepts, and I want to talk to you about an antenna that I picked up about a month ago, and uh, take it outside and give it a test. Now, this is the Abri antenna, A-B-B-R-E-E. -E. This is the 42-inch length antenna, and you can see in the package it collapses quite nicely. That's one reason I got this, was for my Go Kit. This will fit nicely in my Go Kit, or if I have an HT, primarily in my Go Kit for VHF packet, VHF wind link, stuff like that, when I really need an uh, extra gain antenna. So I saw this video, or this uh, antenna first on a video on Josh's channel, Ham Radio Crash Course, and then I saw some other people making videos, and I don't want to just copy the same thing. They said quite more than I'm going to say in this video. But what I want to do is, my perspective, I want to take this outside, put it on my handheld here, and I want to make a contact through a repeater that's over 30 miles away. Now, the reason I want to do that is this. Um, you know, I have put it on my analyzer here, and uh, the results I'll show you again are really pretty decent on VHF, but not so good on UHF, like a 4 to 1 SWR, but still usable, I guess. Um, so instead of doing a test with a SDR or anything, because these guys, you know, on YouTube, they have other setups that are more legit testing than me. Here's my, here's my method of thinking. If I can use this right now outside to make a, a contact through a repeater over 30 miles away, that means a lot because I don't have one antenna in my shack or inventory that I could talk 30 miles to this repeater. In fact, when I had uh, put together that high gain VHF UHF Yagi, I had it out there handheld with a, um, a handheld radio, and I still, with a three or four element Yagi, couldn't hit that repeater really well. I did hit it, but it was very noisy. Nobody can come back to me. So if I can hit a repeater 30 plus miles away with a handheld and this antenna, uh, and it folds up nicely in my go kit, then maybe you can take my information and everybody else's on YouTube and you can put it together and make a decision for yourself. So I bought this and the link is in the description. Um, I don't really know any vendors selling this or can't recommend where you buy it. Just click on my link or somebody else's and go buy one if you want it. This antenna you're going to see outside is not meant for everyone. You don't want it in your car. You're not going to use it when you're, you know, in an elevator. I mean, you're not going to use it on an airplane. This is a quite long, uh, antenna that's going to give you a little more gain and something like this but it's going to be obnoxiously long but that's okay because when I'm out in the field with my go kit and I'm trying to use WinLink or APRS or packet on VHF this is what I'll use in the go kit attached to a handheld which is going through my computer uh, in my little mobile linked TNC, Bluetooth TNC to send email over VHF. So let's go outside where I got a better angle to show you the length of this thing and we'll make a contact real quick. I'll show you what it looks like just for the heck of it on the SWR analyzer. I, For the record, I don't like using analyzers to look at antennas because I feel that even though I hold it in my hand and I act as the counterpoise like HT would do, um, I, I still don't trust myself getting an accurate reading, holding this with an antenna strap to the top of it, and assuming that that's the SWR that I'm going to get. But at the same time, like I said, a real world scenario, talking to a repeater 30 miles away that I can't hit with any HT or antenna in my entire house, that means it's a winner for me. So let's go outside and check it out. Okay, so I had to go outside so I have enough room here to open this thing up because you really wouldn't appreciate it when you're in the house or I'm in the house. So again, the cool thing is that it folds up little Velcro here. Pull this off, check it out. Look at the size of this thing, right? I mean, this is 42 and a half inch long. I think this is the biggest one they have. Uh, SME male with the little female pin in there. So, um, again, you want, you know, it's a little, I think the only thing, when I asked Josh, I said, Josh, what's the, the only thing you think that's, you know, give me something bad about it. And he said, well, you know, it seems like it's all right. It doesn't seem like this will ever break. Uh, the creases or the folds come out when you lay it down for a while. But uh, he says it's the antenna connector that he thinks would be under the most stress. So if you got this thing on here on a radio and you're whipping it around or it's on your belt, it's, it, it might do some damage to the antenna. But although with the way this is, let's say you hit something and it folds over, that's no big deal. So I'm gonna screw this thing onto this Anytone here. 
And this says it's rated at eight watts, 136 to 520 megahertz. Uh, somebody else online said that it was, they saw it was rated for 25 watts. I'm not sure what really to believe and what's really gonna be that much of a situation for me. Uh, I don't think I'm using this for much more than a HT. So I'm gonna turn this on, okay? And again, the repeater that I'm gonna try is Central Turnpike on Sarnet. Now, from Sebastian, US-1 way out there to Central Turnpike is at least 30 plus miles, okay? And I'm gonna try it here and hopefully somebody's out there to give me a test. Um, I have keyed it up before, so I know it will key it up, but I'm gonna see if I'm intelligible into it. This is KJ-4YZI, testing. This is KJ4YZI, I'm about 35 miles from Central Turnpike. Uh, uh, anybody for a radio check? Sarnet's usually busy all day. Station calling for a radio check. I think we're fairly readable. Uh, you're pretty far into the uh, This is 84MQ. Not a problem, Eric. Have a good day. Apparently he got my call sign because he called me Eric, so he knew where I was. Yeah, that's about 35 miles with an HT antenna, so I was just testing it out, trying to get the, the worst possible uh, farthest distance. 7-3, KJ4YZI, Sebastian. Uh, yeah, no, you were a little better right there. Lots of frying bacon, but you were actually readable. So. 35 miles is pretty good with an HT antenna. It's a or a two. Yeah, it's a uh, it's about 45 inches long, but uh, just testing it out. Thanks, I won't hold it. 73 KJ4 YZI. Okay, so I am making it into that repeater at almost 35 miles. I think a uh, little noisy, you know. Eric, are you playing with an abri? <laughs> Um, <laughs> guilty. So he knew I was playing with an debris. I don't know how, I don't know who that is, but evidently he knows who I am. So there's probably only one antenna that's this long, uh, 40, 42 and a half inches. Yeah. At, the, at that distance, you've got to make sure that your whole, I mean, you got to do the Statue of Liberty. You know, how's this sound? But word of advice, when someone says you're unreadable on a repeater, don't keep trying and trying and trying like I just did because that aggravates me. Um, a lot of times you're not readable and you're not going to be readable. I can make it in if, if I stood on that roof. Now that, that's a test right there. Anyways, I don't want to stand on a roof because I know that will make it at 35 miles on a roof. But ground level uh, with this antenna, not bad. So that is the Abri. The link is in the description. Check it out. Uh, I gotta get more into this Anytone. I haven't played with this thing in, in such a long time. Exactly, Weiss says, in a case of emergency, you can get on a roof. Absolutely, in a case of emergency, I could probably hit Coco, Melbourne, uh, Central Turnpike, Vero, uh, DMR Analog, uh, Fort Pierce. I could probably hit a lot of them. All right, just for the video's sake, I'm going to put this on here. Okay, I have it, see, this is, just what it is right here. But I'm gonna pretend, you know, that I'm holding an HT. And if you look at the numbers here, if I can get this in camera, all right, here we go. So it actually dips to 1.2 to one at 145, 400. That's the D star, local D star uh, frequency here. But you know, 146, one, it's still 1.4, 1.5 across the band. Um, that's, that's not bad. Okay. And if I go to UHF, um, UHF is a little off. See, I mean, it's not, I mean, it is usable if I wanted to use it here at four, uh, 3.7 to one SWR 3.4. I mean, it is usable. It's just not as, as good, um, you know, as the VH set, the VHF side of it. VHF seems to be really good right there. I can deal with a 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. But the one out in the Central Turnpike, and you know what? Don't use the antenna like this. That is not the way it is intended. But in a pinch, 
you can keep it like that and I doubt she'll transmit like that but uh, not a good thing to do but anyways it fits in the kit and then you can unscrew it and uh, away you go they do have smaller models pick one that may be better for you as far as the length for your needs 73 kj4 yzi